Welcome back to Quick Statics Answers. Today's problem is, determine the force P and the chord reactions at A and B. First, we'll draw the forces at pulley B. To do so, we need to understand the structure of this problem. Chord P travels through the system as shown by the green line. Chord T travels through the system as shown by the orange line. With this understanding, we can draw the forces at pulley B. These are shown in pink. The force W is the weight of the pulley and the cord, which are given as 100 pounds and 10 pounds. Now we can write an equation for the sum of vertical forces. This results in 0 equals 2P plus T minus 110. Next, we'll draw the forces at the rightmost pulley. Then we'll write an equation for the sum of vertical forces. This results in 0 equals T minus 2P minus 10. This can be rearranged to create the following equation. 2p plus 10 equals t. Using the two equations we previously found, we can solve for p. Substituting the second equation into the first, this is the resulting equation. Isolating for p, we get that it equals 25 pounds. Substituting this value of p back into the second equation gives that t equals 60 pounds. Now let's find the chord reactions. At point A, only force P acts, so the chord reaction at A is equal to P, which is 25 pounds. At point B, only force T acts, so the chord reaction at B is T, which is 60 pounds. And there you have it. Quick Statics Answers.